Hey guys, this is Laurel, Laurel with the Dabbling Hook. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well and I hope you had a good Christmas and whatever other holiday that you um, celebrate. <clears throat> um, this is a reminder to myself to turn up the volume when I edit. <laughs> um, what are you talking about? Hopefully this will be quicker than last time, but hopefully quick. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot. I've been trying to enjoy my four days off, but that hasn't happened a whole lot. But, you know, life keeps happening. Um, what are we talking about? I have notes. I should just look at the notes. Um, let's see. Cards. Uh, holiday cards. I got a few more. Um, this... Ooh, uh, Right there, that is from um, Kim of the Crafty Nomad. Thank you. Uh, this is from Becca at Mama Hodge. There's a holiday card and a thank you card for the hats. You are very welcome. Thank you. And where where is it? Where is it? Who was the other one? Oh, uh, right here. Nope, right there is from Victoria, Alaska, Crafty Gal. Can't see it, but... That's who it's from, and I had one down here, which is a rabbit, which I can't point. That was from Christy of Tea Dottles. Hey, y'all. I love when she says that. Um, hey, Christy. Uh, so, thank you all for the cards. Um, all right, let's get into it, because I'm going to try to make this quick, like I said. Um, hopefully, I would have put in a picture of my floor. I am... What's today? Saturday? So two days have gone by since vacation. Well, really one because I had to log into work the day after Christmas to do some work. So I don't count that as vacation. But I was supposed to be cleaning my area and I have had absolutely zero desire to do that. It's, believe it or not, I used to be a very organized person. Um, like a place for everything and everything in its place. I used to drive um, the hubby mad because I used to yell all the time because things weren't where I left them you found them when you needed it all I ask is that you put it back that's how organized I used to be and in the last year and a half something just like switched off and <sighs> it's just it's just a mess um, I think part of it is trying to juggle full-time job full-time life um, and doing this little crafty side business it's I didn't transition well, so there are things everywhere, and it's like seriously starting to drive me insane. So, the picture that you'd seen, um, it's me deciding I stopped what I was doing and I just pulled everything away and just at least cleaned the floor because it was full of yarn. Um, so that's the start. Um, today is, is today Saturday or today Sunday? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Today is Sunday. Sunday, because they just came back from football. So, um, yeah, tomorrow, it's another day full of appointments. Um, and you're going to hear life sounds, because Father Minion and Minion 2 just came back. Um, I have appointments that were pushed off from work and other life and craft fairs, so it's getting done tomorrow, or it's supposed to. But we're supposed to have like an ice storm that may result in power outages. And I really, really, really hope not. But we shall see. So I don't know how much cleaning there's going to get done tomorrow, but I will do some. Okay. Um, I also posted, um, I'm on Facebook from for some of the um, yarn groups. Um, not so much anything else anymore. Uh, whatever I post on Instagram goes to Facebook, so, you know, that's that. But, every once in a while, Facebook comes up with a memory photo that's just, <laughs> you forget that you posted it. And there was one um, of me, which hopefully you would have seen <laughs> when I was, I have no idea how old I was, two, maybe? I have no idea. But, um, it was, my brother was next to me, and then two other cousins, and right behind me was my grandmother and an uncle. Um course I blurred out and this was back in the islands um, 
so yeah it was it was nice to see that is the oldest picture of me or the picture of me at my youngest that we own um so it's a bit of a treasure uh -huh. and it's got my grandmother in it and um my uncle who i barely remember so yeah all right um i think i talked about ac more closing last time i'd gone there wasn't really much that i wanted i didn't need any more yarn um the only thing i would have bought was black or white yarn because i don't i tend not to have that in stash for, for whatever reason but i just there was nothing I really wanted, and they've pretty much taken off any sales or anything, and they've jacked up the prices and offered 25% off, and it's just, it's not worth it, so. Um, so yeah, that's going by the wayside. I don't think the one closest to me, my home, is going to be there um, much longer, which is kind of sad. Um, not sad, but too bad, I would say. It's too bad, because I have a couple of Michaels near me, and, you know nothing new I really do hope they take on some of the AC more yarns but we shall see ah oh, what else what else what else um, we'll start with whips I have a bag over there with um, some velvet yarn that I was supposed to try to get done last week and the person uh, or ordered infinity scarf and fingerless mitts and she said she didn't need it for Christmas and you know that's kind of like when I hear that things just go on like automatic pause <laughs> and it shouldn't have so I need to work on that this coming week to get it out of the way because I have quite a few things that I need to do um, before the end of the month well before the end of January um, and then I was on YouTube two nights ago and I was just, you know, catching up on videos and such, and, um, uh. hi, <laughs> he actually said hi, um, and I saw, you know, we've all seen Baby Yoda has exploded and everyone's got a pattern, um, Crafty is Cool, who is Allison Hoffman, she has the Amigurumi Me books out, um, she has the original one, she has a Pets one, I think there's something else, she does, like, the, the Golden Girls um, dolls, and she's done one of, um, what's his name? He's got all the tattoos. Eh, I forget what his name is. But she was the first one I saw who did a pattern, and it was, she's awesome with her um, amigurumi. But um, she even wrote up the pattern, had it for sale, and then she, I think she got a cease and desist kind of notification, so she had to pull the pattern. Um, I know a few people bought the pattern before it was pulled. But since then, everyone's got a Yoda out there. Everyone's got their version of it. And I was on YouTube, like I said, catching up on videos. And I saw this one. This was like late. It was probably like 11.30, 12 o'clock, around there. And I saw it. And I'm like, oh, it's small. It looks cute. So I ended up making one. And then I posted it like a day or two later. And, of course, um, a longtime customer of mine was like, she messaged when it went to Facebook and said, can she order some? And I'm like, oh boy. I'm like, did she really mean some or just one? <laughs> so I messaged, messaged her and yep, she wants some. She wants five of them. And then um, another friend uh, wants one. So I told the customer who wants the sum that it's gonna take a bit, because these are quick, but it's gonna take a bit if she wants five of them. So I have about a week or so to, to get those done. So the other person who wanted one, um, <laughs> so it's been folded, um, it's been packaged, so his ear's a little curved, but this is Baby Yoda. It's so tiny. It is by Crimson and, Crimson and Snow? No. I'll put a link to the tutorial below. Um, but yeah, I dropped what I was doing and I worked on it. And the only thing I didn't put was the blush on because one, I didn't have any. Um, I don't do makeup other than some lipstick. Um, and for some reason, I don't like putting the blush on. So he doesn't have it. So this one is already packaged. That's the crinkling you hear. 
So that will get delivered on Monday. Um, so needless to say, I have five baby orders to do. Um, hopefully before the end of the coming week, if not definitely next the week after. Um, the other thing I am working on, what did I put it? So last time, or maybe two videos ago, I had shown some, um, maybe it was a few videos ago, I had hats, and some of them were way big, I don't know what I was thinking, they were puff stitch hats that were way big, um, they never sold. So this, one of them was out of, um, Peyton's classic wool, but this one was in a bright color one, pinks. Um, and I think I bought this, I'm, I'm pretty sure I found these at Dollar Tree, this was has to be over three years ago um and i actually made a, a dryer ball out of one of these which subsequently came undone um even though it's 100 percent wool it doesn't felt very well it held up for quite a few years but eventually in the dryer bits of it started coming apart and it would get caught on stuff and eventually it just unraveled so but the puff stitch hat was just way too big so um I took it out last night and then I and it was double stranded too um, so I didn't want to have to unwind um, double stranded you know pull out the hat and then take apart the double strand I didn't want to do that so I just cast it on just a plain hat and I did the twisted rib and um, you know it's just a regular stockinette so I decided to try my hand of just adding a little interest to it and you cannot see it but I added eyelets in my fingers I added eyelets so I added two rows of eyelets they're offset but um, yeah just try my hand at it. Um, for me, the holes are a little too big, so I gotta go back to my stitch book to see if I can find something different the next time I wanna do it. But um, So I'm just adding the, the two rows of eyelets and then I am just gonna go finish it off. And I have a ball, a good ball size, big orange size ball left, which will be more than enough to finish the hat. So yeah, that's that. And that is just, I cast it on just because I um, undid the hat and the ball was just sitting there. So that's what I've been working on. Um, I think that is it for my whips. I do have um, two baby showers I mentioned. One I have to get done before the end of January and I need to make an amigurumi and... I was going to do a giraffe and the mom-to-be made a giraffe so that scratched off and um, the left-handed crochet had offered um, a free pattern. I think it was up to tomorrow. Not sure. But I snagged I think a hippo pattern from her so that's what I'm going to do for, um, for the baby shower that I need to get done by the 22nd. I also need to make some hearts because in my knit group or my fiber group that we meet every um, every week, uh, one of the other members is getting married in February and we decided just to make hearts of all, all shapes, all types of hearts for her. So um, I gotta do that. Yeah, I have a couple weeks to do that, like real quick. Anyway. So that's on the list. And then I have um, a cousin in England who's coming to visit. And um, he wants a couple of my amigurumi. So we were just back and forth today of what I had left over from craft fair. And um, I showed him Angelia's um, frog. and But it's a really big one. And he asked for a smaller one. And I had to go look for smaller patterns because I didn't want to have to fiddle with the pattern to make it smaller. Because he wants two. He's twins, twin nieces, and he wants two things. So I'm like, there's no way. I searched for different patterns, and I sent him options. But he came back, and he wanted um, a couple of hedgehogs that I had made in the past. <clears throat> so I'm like, okay. I went through my stash, and I s showed him what I had for. Because I had used fun fur for the back part of it. 
and we were good with that and then I posted another custom order that I had so this is gonna kinda go into um, FOs um, another custom order so the Yoda was kind of whips and FOs because I have to make more but I finished that one but the other thing that I just finished was a custom order for somebody that Father Minion works with and I think I had mentioned that the person had sent I guess him a photo and then he sent it to me and asked can you make this I'm like if I can find the pattern does she know where she got the pattern no nope. so I had to do a um, Google image search found the pattern I bought the pattern it turns out it is um, the uh, what are they the books the books the books the Zumigurumi books. So the number one. I have Zumigurumi 5, 6, and I think 2 somewhere. My plan is to get them all, but um, being the bargain hunter that I am, I need to wait till, you know, it's on some kind of sale or discount. And Joann's, for the last almost year, have now had all their books on a 25% or 30% um, discount. Like continuously so I can't use the good coupons <laughs> anyway so anyway it I bought the I bought the pattern and then um, I was making it and then I was watching somebody else who showed uh, it's a crocheter and I think she's in Australia or New Zealand she had made a uh, video in a while and then she just made one and I'm like, oh, what are the odds? I'm making a monkey too. And it turned out she showed the book. And I'm like, oh, it's the same. I want the book. I don't have the book. But it's the first Zumigurumi book. And it's the monkey on the cover of the book. So I, en I ended up buying the pattern separately um, on Etsy. And I wish I had bought it on um, Ravelry. I didn't even think to look there. Because um, when I did the search, it it brought up the Etsy thing. And I just I just bought it there. That's how muddled my mind is lately. Um, so anyway, I plan on getting the book, but here's the monkey. He's got the super long tail and everything. So, yep. So the monkey's done. I forget what the name of the monkey is, but he's done. And I'm gonna save you the crinkle noise and I will wrap that up after. So that's done. So speaking of my cousin, I just posted the, the photo of the monkey to Instagram and then he comes back and goes, oh, you're killing me. Now he wants two of those and he's coming in January and I haven't responded yet because I don't know if I'll be able to get that done. I know I have enough yarn left to do at least one, um, but since they're twins, it wouldn't be bad if they're different shades of brown. So I can do that because I don't want to go out and buy yarn. We'll talk about yarn later. <laughs> um, yeah. So the monkey's done, and I potentially have to make two more. I did make him in, I think, over three nights I made him. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, and now that I know what I'm doing, it'll work up a little quicker, but... Yeah, to have to do two more, I have to do a hippo, I have to do the hearts, I have to do... Um, infinity scarf and fingerless mitts which I haven't made in so long that I don't like making booties and fingerless mitts because one always comes out bigger than the other and it just drives me nuts and when I did booties I always ended up making like three at the minimum because I made the first one the second one is either too small or too big and then I had to make a, make a third one so I always ended up with like one spare yeah we'll see so that's the monkey um, the other thing um, hopefully I put in the little clips I took of um, the scrap blanket I was working on all year long and a few months ago my mother-in-law had seen I have a couple of scrap blankets on my couch and my mother-in-law had was asking about one of them saying she's curious how I did all the colors that's why doing a scrap blanket is so it's so satisfying almost it's um, you know, not only you get to use up all the scraps and put it to good use, but the color combinations, you just, things that you would never think to put together, 
and then when you work it up and you're looking at it it's like every row and and as you're looking over the landscape of the blanket you're like wow those look really nice together so needless to say she liked the blanket and um she was you know fascinated by all the colors and thought you know i did all those individually <laughs> um so yeah she was fascinated with it and right away i'm like oh i am like almost halfway done with the one i'm working on that'll be her christmas present totally forgot about that and at one of my craft fairs I ended up buying something for her for Christmas which I still forgot to give her and it's in the closet so hopefully I'm going to save it for her birthday um which is in March but um where was I going with that yeah so the blanket I finished and I I had so much going on with work and you know I've been moaning for like months now or weeks at least um it's a lot of life stuff going on and with craft fairs and everything I've been like going on autopilot almost just getting things done that I fell behind I kept thinking oh, I'll have time to do the blanket and then um, for whatever reason I thought I had like an extra day um, not really remembering that we do Christmas Eve with the in-laws so the night before I'm like holy cow so I'm like working on it and I was up till almost three in the morning working on it till my hand gave out because the chunky yarn and going and going. And uh, so I stopped around like two something in the morning. And then I had to get up um, and do food and a dessert for the meeting. Plus I still had to work, it was still a work day. Um, so needless to say, I finished the blanket with 20 30 minutes before we had to walk out the door is when I finished the blanket I barely got proper pictures of it so I just had to throw it on the deck it was already um, like the Sun was already gone and it was getting the light funny thing the light uh, when the Sun is going down almost that duskiness turns out really nice when you take pictures uh, but you have to catch it just in that little span of time but it's just it has a nice almost airy glow but it's it's a nice filter to it when you take pictures anyway so the blanket was done and she was so surprised which just made me so happy because you make things and you hope people like it but when they really like it it's just there's just something about that so and she was like you know she almost screamed and she um, she said she was playing on ordering one so it just it worked out so well so I was happy with that um, and happy that she is happy with that. She, I guess she even told her husband to not let the dog anywhere near um, the blanket. So <laughs> that's great. That's all makes it even better. Oh, I also forgot that from um, Christy, I had sent her months ago some, some of my scraps thinking, you know, they weren't big enough. And turns out she uses tiny, tiny scraps. But she sent me a little gift. Isn't that cute? This color is me. I, I love that right here. That mustardy gold color. Oh, love it. So much so that, you know, Old Navy was having a sale. Um, well, the whole holiday sale and everything. And I went back the day after. Did I go the day after? And um, I did. It's the day after Christmas. And I ended up buying a cardigan I already had. <laughs> in the mustard yellow color um yeah i washed it and i was putting laundry away last night i'm like wow that really does look familiar and i go in the closet and yep i have that sweater already so the cardigan that's how much i love my gold yellow mustardy color so thank you christy all right other thing that's finished but not finished half finished is pardon me uh, it looks like this isn't going to be so short after all. But. Uh, look at that. All the 24 squares. Oop, there's another one there. Are done. Waiting to be put together. So last week I had mentioned that I was behind. I finished the last two. Um, and I said that I'm pretty sure that they were already on the join. And of course they were totally on the join. <sighs> The reason in 2014 I did that big blanket is because I learned to join as you go. And now to think that I have to try to piece these all together. They're using a crochet method. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, because they're all different colors, 
and I think I have a good bit of one color left. It might be the gray. This is all, um, so these were the last two. This was 23, and it's all baubles. This would, um, I wish I'd made the baubles small, smaller. I did go one stitch small. I called for five double crochets. I did four, and I wish I had done three to make it smaller, because I'm not a fan of, for the blanket, of it being that textured. Um, so I wish I had done three double crochets instead of four. And then the last one was this. So because everything is so many colors and it's Big Twist Premium, which is defunct. You know, the Joanne one that they, they defunct. I don't know why. <sighs> anyway, um, I wanted to tie them all together with one color. And I'm thinking maybe, I think I have this gray, which I think is called a pigeon colorway. And I may have enough to join them all. So I'm thinking, and some of them are not different sizes, obviously, because mm -hmm. they're different patterns and the borders are different um, number of stitches. I was thinking of going around each of them, seeing what I have for the majority of color, going around each of them with that color and then joining them. But that's going to be a task onto itself. That might be my my goal for January because I don't want this to sit there past January because that will just not bode well at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, the squares are all done. They just need to be joined. So halfway done. Um, the other finished item I had, I um, for Christmas I had made this and it was supposed to be for my brother and I brought it. It was in the bag and totally forgot to pull it out for him to try to see if he'd even wear it and I also was making a hat for my father that I was halfway done that I brought with me I finished it and again I totally forgot to have him try it but I saw um, Ruby Stedman do a hat um, and it's just you know a basic beanie and what I liked was that she used the Charisma, which is just so squishy soft. And I loved how it worked up. And I'm like, oh, I have that colorway. And I have a few other variegated ones there. So I just whipped up a hat. And I went a little smaller because my dad's head's a little smaller. Plus he's bald and all that. so <laughs> Or semi-bald. So I need to have him try that on. It's nice and soft. And then I had a little bit left over out of one skein. So I just made a little um, beanie. And I didn't do a whole lot of beanies for donation this year. So I'm just going to not do any donations this year and pile it up and add, um, add it to next year. So I made the hat and I had enough to make. I think I had like this much yarn left out of the, the skein. So it's just a little basic double crochet no I did half double crochet and then um, did I do a half double crochet I think I did a half double crochet rib no I did a an extended single crochet rib on here yep minion two is just getting home from work so there'll be a little bit of light noise okay so um, I think that's all I had for finished items. I think, yeah, I haven't been doing a whole lot at all. Oh, and I'm drinking this Caribbean punch. It's kind of like I, I had it before. It's like an eggnog punch. Say hi. Hello, mom. Hello. Oh, man. <laughs> Say hello. Hello, Mom. <laughs> Don't come visit me at work. <laughs> Mr. Chipotle, who doesn't share, brings his dinner and doesn't offer okay, a chip to anyone. <laughs> I can only get enough for just me, so I'm going to get enough for just me. Oh, thanks. Carry on. <laughs> anyway, um, Where yeah. Upstairs. What? So, um, 
Ugh, I had to banish them all so I can make this video and just still get noise. Um, I think that's it for finished objects. I have a lot to do in a month, plus cleaning up. So, acquisitions. I mentioned that I wasn't going to buy any yarn, meaning I didn't buy anything at AC Moore. I haven't been to Joann's. Um, I watched um, Penny Annie's um, video on the Yarnimus sale. I didn't go. I put a reminder in my phone, but I didn't go. Um, but what I ha am buying is the hand-dyed yarns or nothing in huge bulk, but just little bits of stuff, and it has to be on sale. So having said that, I did a little, um, well, obviously, I don't have it, but I did um, Blueprint. Old Craftsy is having sale, clearance sales. And I made a little purchase of some of their Bremont. Um, hang on one second. So last time I bought alpaca, um, it's their Cloudborn. It's 30% alpaca, 70% alpaca, 30% nylon. It's very soft. And it's DK. So I'm slowly working my way down in size, but right now I'm at DK. Um, anything I get that's small in that has to be doubled up. But... I am, after I did the Anastasia hat, I'm getting a little more comfortable with DK, so, um, and I just did, oh, my sister-in-law's hats, um, I only heard from one of them, and she loved it, she loved the colors, um, but, um, so that was in DK, and I'm getting used to that, but they have a Bremont, Bremont, um, line, and there's a lot of good clearance going on, and if you're a member of their subscription, then there's an additional discount on there and your shipping is free. So I bought some that is 90% llama, 10% nylon. It's DK and, um, and, and, and it was like $2 and 21 cents with the member discount. Um, normally it's like 11, $11 or whatever. So couldn't pass it up because I said I'm not going out and hoarding yarn but if it's you know if it's a good sale it would be yeah, almost negligent to, to not partake so that's what I did I didn't go hog wild I think I got 10 skeins they are you saw that small ball they are 50 gram skeins it's like 109 yards or something like that so I need <sighs> hold on one second okay where was I um what was I talking about? The yarns. They are small skeins, and I bought five of each, and they have sparkle in there. So that's, I got the red and the yellow. Those are my colors. And, um, yeah, I need at least three to make a hat, and I want to make an Anastasia hat with the sparkle for me. And I don't know if I want to mix the yellow and the red, or just do one each for me. Um, but, yeah, so I got five. It was, you know, free shipping, extra discount. What do you got to do? <laughs> and then, this other one that I bought. Oh, the other thing about Blueprint, the shipping is really fast. Really fast. Compared to, like, if you buy from Joann's, it could be, like, up to a week before they even mail it. <sighs> and everywhere else, yeah. So, anyway. The other one I bought, um, I blame Jennifer of Cinnamon Stitches. <laughs> Um, she showed the, what's it called, spun color yarns from Premier. And I bought Premier yarns before, but not from their site, usually from um, AC Moore, or um, I think I bought from the local yarn store once. It was this really vibrant neon pink color almost, and it was acrylic, but it was so soft. Um, was it universal? Anyway. Um, but the spun colors are just so pretty and there are cakes and it's like 500 and something yards in it and it was $7.99 and I had it in my cart like a week ago and I'm like, no, I don't need that. I don't need it. And then <sighs> they sent an email with free shipping, $25 or more. Because I wasn't going to pay like the extra $10, you know. I don't know what it is, but if it's like, you know, shipping... We hear free shipping, or at least I do, and I'm like, I'm on it. So, um, yeah. So I ended up buying, I think, three or four colors. Yeah. 
yeah, I think three, three or four colors I bought just to try them. And I'm going to use them in a shawl. And I don't know if I'm going to knit the shawl or not. I did the, um, what is the name of the shawl? The Tranquil Waters? I don't remember. It was my first knit triangle shawl. It's easy enough once you get the hang of knitting, but it was my first. And then there were a few errors in it, but nothing too noticeable. But I like it and I like the way it wears. So I am thinking of making another one of that. So either that or no. The Raina shawl is another one on my list to make. And I don't remember if that's. I hope that's not fingering weight because I'm not doing fingering weight yarn. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I plan on doing with it. It's so pretty. It's so many pretty colors. It's just all the, the mash of colors and they're just, oh, they're lovely. Anyway, so that is where I am. I make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think so. I'm gonna finish my drink. I am going to put some stuff back tomorrow. If my appointments get canceled because of the weather, then I will be cleaning. Um, I have unraveled that one pink one that I showed you, and I unraveled two more. One's already put, there was there were two um, puff stitch hats. One was a, another blue one that's completely unraveled. And then there was another um, messy bun hat that I unraveled. And I would used that, I think, once or twice. I actually washed it and unraveled it and I may just save it for a um, another scrap blanket that I'm gonna start because I did a lot of crocheting and knitting this year and I had emptied this tote and now it's full again and the scrap blankets done and yeah I have enough to definitely start another one and wait for more scraps so that's what I'm doing I hope you guys have a good new year um, celebrate it safely. I is ice. I do not go out. One, it's cold. I don't like the cold. Two, there are crazy idiotic people out there. No thank you. And it's just, no. I'd rather be home and warm. I'll watch it all on TV. Yeah, and I can crochet in peace and comfort. <laughs> So, um, I don't do goals. I know some people are starting to put them out there. I don't. I don't do formalized goals. My two big things for the coming year is to make two decisions. One, um, am I going to start a website? That is my big decision I have to make next, this coming year. And number two, um, do I start a Facebook group um, only because I've had a lot of people do friend requests and my Facebook is primarily family oriented stuff and I don't want to mix the two and I figured if I start a group then all the people that are yarn related can I would have to unfriend you in the personal realm and you can come over but I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that yet. So two decisions, Facebook group and um, website. The group, my biggest hesitation is management. I am not on Facebook a whole lot or constantly I'll go check something and I'm out. And to have a group, you kinda of have to manage and be there and do things and I don't know if I have the time to do that. So decisions, yeah, those are my two. And then light ones are figuring out if, no, I've kind of decided to start earlier trying to make things. So um, from now through May, through the end of May, or maybe beginning of May, I'm gonna be doing whatever. Um, I usually do a lot of amigurumis in that time. And then starting in May, I need to start um, doing more craft fair inventory stuff. And it's basically just my two button cowls and hats and whatever else I may come up with. I know I have two patterns to put out and yeah, my brain space is just not there. 
one knit hat and the owl. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, have a good new year. Stay safe if you go out and I will talk to you guys hopefully soon. Cheers. Bye guys. <laughs>